Now, bright one morning, Peter opened the gate and went out into the big green meadow. On a branch of a big tree sat a little bird, Peter's friend. All is quiet, chirped the bird gaily. Just then, a duck came waddling round. She was glad that Peter hadn't closed the gate and decided to take a nice swim in the deep pond in the meadow. They argued and argued. The duck swimming in the pond, the little bird hopping along the shore. Suddenly, something caught Peter's attention. He noticed a cat crawling through the grass. Oh, look out, shouted Peter, and the bird immediately flew up into the tree. While the duck quacked angrily at the cat, Grandfather came out. He was angry because Peter had gone into the meadow. It's a dangerous place. If a wolf should come out of the forest, then what would you do? Peter paid no attention to his grandfather's words. Boys like him are not afraid of wolves. But grandfather took Peter by the hand, led him home, and locked the gate. Sooner had Peter gone than a big grey wolf did come out of the forest. In a twinkling, the cat climbed up the tree. The duck quacked and, in her excitement, jumped out of the pond. But no matter how hard the duck tried to run, she couldn't escape the wolf. He was getting nearer, nearer, catching up with her. And then he got her, and with one gulp, swallowed her. In the meantime, Peter, without the slightest fear, stood behind the closed gate, watching all that was going on. of the tree around which the wolf was walking stretched out over the wall. Grabbing hold of the branch, Peter lightly climbed over onto the tree. Peter said to the bird, Fly down and circle round the wolf's head. Only take care that he doesn't catch you. The bird almost touched the wolf's head with his wings. While the wolf snapped angrily at him from this side and that. How the bird worried the wolf. And how the wolf wanted to catch him. But the bird was clever. And the wolf simply couldn't do anything about it. <laughs> Peter made a lasso and carefully letting it down, caught the wolf by the tail and pulled with all his might. Feeling himself caught, the wolf began to jump wildly, trying to get loose. But Peter tied the other end of the rope to the tree.
And the wolf's jumping only made the rope round his tail tighter. Just then, the hunters came out of the woods. Following the wolf's trail and the shooting as they went. But Peter, sitting in the tree, said, Don't shoot. Birdie and I have caught the wolf. Now help us to take him to the zoo. Imagine the triumphant procession. Peter at the head. After him, the hunters leading the wolf. And winding up the procession, Grandfather and the cat. Thank you.